Hi guys, welcome back. It's Simply Amanda. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop and join me today in this video. Hope something here helps you, inspires you. I am working on what I call a Thrifty Thursday meal, and basically I'm trying to keep this meal under $3 for two people. It can be a main meal or a lunch or a breakfast. I've actually ate this for breakfast before, and it's very tasty. So anyway, what I'm fixing to do is get my basket, got my basket, I'm heading outside. I'm going to pick me one of those cabbages, y'all. One of those cabbages I showed y'all about, about a week or two ago that um, I thought had frozen ruined. There's one out there that's kind of like, it needs to be picked. We're going to pull it and use it. And I'm also going to find some onion tops that are in my old flower bed, which I thought I pulled all the onions. And um, obviously I didn't because I have onion tops now. And I'm going to go ahead and pull some potatoes just because if I don't put them in the house, I'll forget to use them. That's why I'm going to pull them. But they're going to be for a later meal. So anyway, I hope you'll join me. This is going to be a meal, Lord willing, as cheap as possible. We're going to get it as cheap as possible. I'll break it down at the end for you. Let's get started big but um you can see it was starting to rot so this one needed to be picked these guys have blown my mind since that cold snap that we had last week they have gotten bigger they've gotten prettier i know they look bad but these things rebound so beautifully so i've probably got about three or four and even this one on the end down here she's trying to make some heads so i think right now it's not bad at all having these cabbages at the last of january definitely experiment something we're going to need to um may need to know one day Okay guys, next place I'm taking you is in here. And it is absolutely overgrown with weeds. Of course they're dead because it's winter. Uh, but I wanna show you, I pulled, or at least I thought I pulled all the onions out of here. I did pull all the onions out here last year, like I thought, because this was flowers last year, but the weeds overtook it during the fall. But look, I must not have found, pulled all of them because um, there are onion tops here. And this is something I'm going to cut, put in here with my cabbage. It's gonna make an amazing flavor. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's, I don't know what it takes to kill this stuff because it made it through that 18 degree weather last um, week. <laughs> So guys back in the house got my onions chopped up got my cabbage chopped up putting a little bit of olive oil into the bottom of my pan gonna turn it up kind of like medium high to begin with um, just let it sit there and let it warm up gonna spread that oil around just to make sure that it's everywhere you don't you can use either olive oil any kind of oil you've got it doesn't matter you even need to use spray oil in the can just something to keep it from sticking to begin with but watch your temperature because in this cast iron um skillet it, it can get hot very fast i do have some hamburger meat um and onions that i'm going to be adding to this um i'm going to be putting it in the microwave and heating it it's been in the freezer it was a blessing being able to um do it ahead of time Put a little piece of cabbage in there. It started frying Sam. Now I'm going to put the rest of it in there. I'm going to put it all in there. And then I'm going to get my onions. Of course, I'm going to make a mess. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer here. And then I'm going to get those fresh green onion tops. Put them in there. Um, give it a little bit of a stir. Oh, yeah, it's already starting to smell good with those onion tops. And then I've got my seasoning. I've got garlic salt garlic powder. I opened it up and realized um, this one wasn't open. I got an overload in my cabinet of that. Go ahead and put some onion powder in here. The more seasoning is the better. Cabbage can be kind of dull, but you know, season it as your flavor, whatever you want. I usually use garlic powder and onion powder. I could have grabbed, I should have got off of the cabinet and grabbed the other one that was already open, but we're going to go ahead and go with this. Just a little bit of garlic, spread it over. Um, and then I'm going to put, of course, some more onion powder. The more onion powder, the better I like it. Just a tad bit of salt. Just a tad bit. I will definitely be adding more salt when I eat this because it's just one of those things. Believe it or not, the salt also helps to cook it faster. You know, it kind of like draws the water out of it. The cabbage is full of water. Give it a good stir. I'm going to turn the temperature down to about medium. Maybe just a little bit more because, like I said, this cast iron pan it cooks super fast but i absolutely love it making a mess but hey making a mess is part of cooking let you know that you're doing a good job you're just worrying about the food and not the mess of course i'm worrying about the mess because i'm picking it up put it back in the pot the pan okay so what are we doing here just keep on stirring it up 
And then I'm going to go over here and get the top on it, which is going to help to steam it. So guys, to this hamburger onion mixture I got right there, I'm going to be adding, this is probably about a pound and a half of onions and um, hamburger that have already been cooked up. I'm going to thaw this out and throw it in there too. This is going to make an amazing lunch, y'all, and practically free, y'all. Practically free. So now I'm just going to be getting, um, this is optional, depends on totally you, um, add just a little bit of soy sauce in it. Actually, teriyaki sauce is pretty good too. I should have got the teriyaki, kind of got a little sweeter flavor. Stir it up again, cook it, turning down the temperature, constantly watching that temperature. <laughs> Give it up a good stir. Now you'll notice this is cooked down a lot. Cabbage cooks down quite a bit, so it's not cooking from that little bitty head of cabbage that I got. Yeah, oh yeah, you see what I'm trying to do right now? That was a piece of the core, and you don't want that because it's bitter. So get that. Make sure you cut the core out. I should have done a better job. Um, like I said, it does cook down. Gonna give it a good stir right there. Put the top on it again. Let it cook. This probably takes about 15 minutes, not even, to do this. Now it's pretty much done. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Just give it a little stir. Oh, kind of got a little too stuck to the bottom, but that's okay. Like again, I'll keep reiterating. You can cast iron skillet. Make sure you're watching it and the temperature on it. And you see my little light down there, it's turned on, so I know I need to turn it down some more. Give it a good stir up. And see how much it has shrunk down. Considering that was a tiny head of cabbage to begin with, that this, if you were to do this yourself and get a bigger cabbage, you know, like at the store, you can make this go really far, really, really far. Um, but I'm using that little bitty cabbage, so it was free, pretty much free, so we'll eat. Alright guys, so this here is already done. You can see how much it shrank down, but we're not done with it yet. I've got some hamburger meat here with onions that I um, cooked and froze earlier. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of salt to it because it needs, it needs a little flavoring. It needs the salt. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour this into here. Add a little meat to my um, cabbage. Just simply stir it up. And this is going to make a almost a complete meal guys almost a complete meal now you can also add to it more sour sauce sweet sauce you could add to it sweet and sour sauce whatever you want but this is absolutely delicious and y'all the one thing i had to pay for was a hamburger meat and that was 259 a pound i used half of it so it ended up being like a dollar 25 a pound for that so we'll say this is a very thrifty thursday meal so guys here's the final product this is um a lot of people call this egg roll in a bowl or crack slaw. I don't know what you call it. It's just good. But anyway, for a thrifty Thursday meal, y'all, this was a very good price. By the way, if you don't have your own cabbage, that's fine. It don't matter. Go out to the store and buy you some prepackaged um, pre coleslaw mix and use it just the same. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to break down what my meal cost right here today. The cabbage was free. Well, it wasn't totally free, y'all. It wasn't totally free because I had to pay for the plant because I did not grow this from seed. Um, I, I paid a dollar for the plant. So we're going to say we got a dollar into this we'll say a dollar into the cabbage, as well as the onion tops. Those were totally free, totally free. Um, the hamburger meat was $2.59 a pound. I used a pound of it. So we're going to say this is under $5, under $5. And it's probably even a little cheaper than that. But we're just, we're just trying to be thrifty, you know, to get it as low as possible. Because I'm looking for under $5 meals for Thrifty Thursdays. So anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you've never tried this, try it. It's so good. It's so good. And it's so addicting. So anyway, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. Until next week, God bless.